all the vitamins that I need. This smoothie gives me this coconut vibe. It gives me a pina colada vibe. So if you are all down for that flavor, this is gonna be perfect for you. your health journey and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a vitamin smoothie okay so vitamin smoothies are my absolute go-to right now so the main time that I love to make a vitamin smoothie is right before my cycle is about to come on and my body gave me a reminder <laughs> that it was about that time and if you have endometriosis like me your body usually lets you know hey girl I'm coming so to kind of combat all of the inflammation that comes along with my cycle when I haven't been doing well, I like to do a vitamin smoothie. And there's some key things that I have here that I want to share with you guys. So here is my little smoothie bar. These are all the things that I usually put in my smoothie every day. So I have my um, spronella, which is an algae, that's a powder. I have my organic vegan protein powder that I bought from Walmart, actually really, really good. I have some flax seeds here, some chia seeds. And then right here I have my C-Main. This is a vitamin I'm actually gonna be putting into my smoothie today. And then, ingredients. So I am making a vitamin smoothie with sea moss. And the reason why I'm using sea moss is because you want your body to get your minerals that you need to break down your vitamins and absorb your vitamins. So here's the thing that we often get wrong. We'll take our vitamins and we're like, I took my vitamins, I took my vitamins, I took my vitamins. But if you are not adding your minerals into your life or if you don't have enough in your system, your body's not gonna be able to absorb all of your vitamins. So that's why I'm adding sea moss because our sea moss has all the minerals that our body needs. So that's it. Then I have some good old pineapple juice and some fresh pineapples. And the reason for that is pineapples, I'm gonna put it up here or down here. I'm gonna put it on the screen exactly what it is that pineapples have that helps with our digestive tract. But it's been proven that pineapples can help you with your stomach, your stomach acid. And yeah, we're gonna make sure we get our stomach right so we can absorb everything and get our inflammation all the way down. And this can go for anything that you're going through. So if you're going through inflammation, like myself or any other chronic disorder, or if you are needing to just take your vitamins, for instance, if you're vitamin D deficient or anything like that, if you know that you need certain vitamins in your life to absorb properly, y'all can do the same combination with your vitamin of choice. Okay. And then here, I have some coconut milk, but this is not regular coconut milk, y'all. I actually mixed my probiotics and my coconut milk. This actually happened by mistake. I was trying to make um, yogurt and I got my consistency wrong. So I didn't want to throw her out because I'm like, she's still amazing. She's packed with probiotics, so I'm gonna use her. And now I have some probiotic coconut milk here. Okay, and this right here is um, the blue version of my spronella. I might be saying that wrong, but it's just an algae. And I was thinking, since we have all this blue going on in our politics, why not turn this drink blue? So we might be using our blue spronella hope I'm saying that right versus our green spronella because I don't want it to be a green smoothie but we'll see we'll play around with it or you know y'all just want a regular smegula you can do a regular smegula as far as taste goes this smoothie gives me this coconut vibe it gives me a pina colada vibe so if you are all down for that flavor this is gonna be perfect for you but let's get to mix it Y'all probably seen this thing way too much. I actually need to get a new one, but we'll we'll get there when we get there. And I'm just gonna add in my fresh pineapple. I actually cut this pineapple up myself. And I'm gonna add all that pineapple juice in there. I want all of that in there. 
Okay, and this pineapple juice that I have here is actually, let me show you what it is. So this is the dull pineapple juice. The thing that I love about this pineapple juice is the fact that it is not from concentrate, so you have to shake it, you gotta mix it really good, um, and it is pure pineapple juice. Y'all, it's pure pineapple juice. I get this at my local Target, I get this at my local grocer, and it's really cheap. It's actually cheaper than buying the regular juice on the counter. So my last CMOS video when I did the gummies, this is what I mixed in my orange juice. It's so fresh, it's readily available. So get you some pineapple juice. All right, so how much sea moss do we use? I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of sea moss. It really just depends on where you are in your sea moss journey and if you've been taking your sea moss regularly or if you have been getting your minerals in a different way. If you are like me, the biggest mineral that you need when you are dealing with a chronic disorder is actually magnesium magnesium make sure you are getting your magnesium in um, so yeah that part so we got our pineapples in here two tablespoons of sea moss and I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of my goodness that I usually add in so again this is flax seeds chia seeds I'm gonna skip our green vanilla. Go to our vegan protein powder here. And just a teaspoon of that. And then our vitamins. So when you are trying to figure out which vitamins to actually put in your vitamin smoothie, you need to do vitamins that are capsules you can actually open, not the, the hard or the solid vitamins. Those are not gonna work in this. Or you can use liquid. You can actually use your liquid vitamins, which I'm actually just starting to kind of move over to. So I am doing um, my minerals in liquid form. I am doing, what are you gonna do too? Cause I'm about that life. <laughs> So my minerals in liquid form um, and a couple of others that I'm gonna be trying out soon. Just because I know that they actually absorb a lot faster in our system. Um, so that's really important to me. And if you don't know about C-Main and you have endometriosis, let me just tell y'all real quickly. So this is my emergency go-to. <laughs> this is the vitamin that I take when I haven't been taking my vitamins like I should and I know I'm starting to get those precursors of pain. So for instance, y'all know, those pre-pre cramps where your body starts to feel really bloated, you start to feel a little off, you start to feel wonky, and I know that I'm probably gonna have some level of pain with my cycle. So, I reach for this. Um, I still take my other vitamins as well, but see, main to me is like that power, last minute, three days before my cycle, I'm on it, right? So that is why I have that there. And then we're just gonna add in our probiotic coconut milk. And then we're gonna add in our pineapple juice. And again, this is supposed to be a real tasty treat. Um, it's supposed to be sweet, it's supposed to be creamy, it's supposed to give me that coconut feel. And y'all, we might as well just throw a little bit of roasted coconut on top. But we'll get to that part. Okay, so let's blend her. And if you're feeling really, really spicy, add a little ice to it, make it a whole pina colada, y'all. Like, make it a thing. Ooh, I forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna add a banana to this. Mm. That is delicious. Hold on, if you have a banana, add a banana. If not, you're okay. Um, but banana is great because it has a lot of potassium. It will help you if you are dealing with a lot of pain right now. So we're gonna add that in our mix. We got our smoothie out, she's nicely blended. 
And y'all know, this is all about being healthy our way. And I like to feel like I'm doing something. Like, I just want this to taste good. I don't want it to taste like medicine. I don't want to have the feeling that I need to auto-correct my body. Like, I really just want to enjoy this. So, I'm gonna make it really, like, spicy-like. So, I got my big ice cubes here. Put it in my big mason jar. And we're gonna make this look like it tastes amazing. And probably my husband and my child are gonna come in here wanting some. But it's just for me because it is packed with all the vitamins that I need. It tastes like something I would order if I was in Hawaii on the beach, which I honestly wish I could go back to right now. But yeah, it's such a treat. It's a way of just like making you feel good and feel good about what you are drinking. It's super sweet. The pineapple just warms it up. And the great thing about this drink, y'all, we got in our vitamins, we got in our probiotics, we got in our minerals, we got it all in, in a tasty smoothie. It doesn't taste medicine-like, like anything. Mm. And if we wanted to be fancy, we sprinkle a little coconut on top. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this helps you along your health journey. I will leave this recipe on pinkproverb.com. And yeah, key takeaways. Make sure you're using vitamins that are in powder form or liquid form for this to get the right consistency. And if you haven't been taking in your minerals, make sure you add a little sea moss or you can use liquid minerals as well. All right, and just for a treat, I'm gonna go ahead and make one blue because yeah, we still celebrating over here. So I'm gonna take the remainder of this and make it blue. And I'm not gonna use a lot because Using it a lot of algae powder will literally take over the taste of your smoothie. So just, you know, half a teaspoon. We don't need a lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Here is our blue consistency. You know, just pour this up for Kamala. We with you, girl. <laughs> All right, let's taste her. Mm. She tastes just the same. Tastes basically the same. It's a tad bit of aftertaste of the algae powder. But yeah, still good, still good. All right guys, cheers to being healthy your way and I will see you next video.